Burgle. That's cool. Hello, and welcome to Coffee on Korriban. It is finally here. Chapter 16 of The Mandalorian feels like so long ago. Way longer than it actually was. If you think all the way back to the Luke Skywalker hallway scene, that feels like eight, ten years ago, even though it wasn't that long at all. Maybe that's because we got a little bit of a Mando 2.5 in The Book of Boba Fett Season 1. There's still a ton of debate on whether that was a good move by them to include the Mandalorian timeline stuff in the Book of Boba Fett story and kind of smash those together. You know, why wasn't Boba Fett the star of his own show and all those criticisms? I'm sure we've heard it before. We've talked about it at length on this show. All that aside, we're here. I am hoping for this season, quick little predictions, I'm hoping for a lot of Mandalore as far as the actual lore in the history of the Mandalorian clans. I want to know what happened on the Night of a Thousand Tears. I want to know the details about how they came to be in the place that they're in today. And I think we're going to get a lot of that this season. I really hope so. And sort of on that note, I really hope that this season takes itself seriously. Not that the first two were complete jokes, but you know, there was a little bit of corniness and, and cheesy jokes and stuff that I personally wouldn't have preferred be in the first two seasons of The Mandalorian. And maybe it's just that I'm spoiled with what we got from Andor, but I really like that serious, gritty, realistic, the gravitas of the situation that we got in Andor. Now, if you were one of the people that subscribed during that Andor phase, then you know that's really what I like in these shows. Like, I, I love the drama, the character-driven stories, and, and just make it feel real. That that feeling of Star Wars, something really subjective, but I think we're gonna get it in The Mandalorian Season 3, so that's pretty much all the talking I have to do. Going into this season, my excitement level is about a 7.5. I'm really, really hyped for Andor Season 2, and I'm pretty excited about Mandalorian Season 3. So we're going to get into it right now. I'm ready. You better be ready. 3, 2, 1, go. I'm going to go ahead and assume that this is not like a magnificent premiere as much as just a continuation of the stories. All right, here we go. Oh, there's my name. It's another check for daddy. <laughs> it's another check for daddy. <laughs> Is this the armor? Oh, is this a new helmet? Is she making a brand new helmet? Maybe for a foundling or something? That'd be cool. That sure looks like a new helmet. This is sweet. This is almost like the Mandalorian version of Boba building his um, gaffy stick, which I thought was really, really cool. Oh, I bet it is for a foundling. See, this is this is so dope to me. Like, getting to learn a little bit more about their traditions and their customs. That's what I'm here for. Not really digging the color scheme, but... He didn't even brush the hair out of his eyes. Oh, that sounds so cool. Uh-oh. Oh, no, that's not good. The sky. Look to the sky. Okay, okay, hold up. Those sounds sounded like Star Wars. Those were some some prequel trilogy explosion sounds right there. Yeah, it's like a giant snapping turtle gator. And one. I was, I was questioning a little bit what time frame we were in, if this was like in the past, but obviously we got the end one now. Oh my goodness! There was there some intestines and things. Chapter 17, The Apostate. Bruh, it's a piece of the city. So it, I bet they're pulling like a Wally, -E, where it's like we can't go back; it's poisoned. Don't don't try to go back, everyone. Stay the course. 
Burgle. That's cool. Bro, that's so cool. Mando, you're too late. Cara Dune died three months ago. So, like, just crumbs. Multiple crumbs. Statue for IG-11. <laughs> the, the little droid holding this train. <laughs> An official trade spur of the Hydean Way. Where you're from, you may be red MMs here. You'd be landed gentry. I mean, could that's an interesting variation. There's someone here to see you. It can wait, but it's pirates. Tell Captain William Shark. Oh, man. After she brought in Moff Gideon, she was recruited by special forces. Like a very fine well, that's officer. an explanation, I suppose. Let me give it a shot. <laughs> well, that would be cool if they brought him back all the way back from season one. That'd be pretty dope. Oh my gosh, that's terrifying. <laughs> <laughs> that was terrifying. The best droid smiths of the outer rim. Mmm, Babu Frick. That's no good. I need He's all crouched in there. My friend. They're not friend anymore. Are we going on a quest to find a new memory circuit? Yes, but I know No, 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 Every time that thing starts up, it's working! It's working! Stop where you are, Mandaloria. Is that the Davy Jones of the space? I have no quarrel with you, Guardian Shard. Surrender your ship and I'll spare your life. Kid? Part of the crew, part of the ship. Never trust a pirate. <laughs> okay. Cool. House Krees. That's cool, Mandalorian droid. Do you still have the saber? I do. Wave that thing around, and they'll do whatever you say. Oh, she's not so very happy right now. To retake... They're beneath the Civic Center in the city of Sundari. Thank you. Does that mean we officially have a civic the planet is in really Star poisoned. Wars? Alright, there we go. That is the end of it. Alright, well that is episode 1 of season 3, chapter 17, The Apostate, however you'd like to slice it. Uh, rating wise, 7.5, uh, I, man, I, Andor just really set the bar so high for me that it's hard for me to get excited about just action or just, you know, a fun show. And I, I know that this show has its place, and I, I'm sure that this is very much tailored toward the general audience, and there's a lot of people that are going to love this and eat it up. <sighs> I really wish Andor Season 2 was here. Uh, but... There were some great moments in this. Obviously, the uh, the turtle, lizard, alligator thing getting blown up was pretty cool. And we, we saw some gore, which is very interesting. We got to see a little bit of a Mandalorian ritual, which was really cool. I, I like to see that. Any Anything to do with the history of planets or peoples or cultures, I, I, I just think is so cool. And that was right in line with that. The explanation for Cara Dune's absence was all right. I don't really know what else they could have done with that. I, I think the goal should have been make it as unnoticeable as possible because most people won't even know who that character is at this point. It's been a couple years since chapter 16. So 
they should have done it a lot more subtly to where the people that really wanted to know the answer had their answer if they looked into it and most people didn't even know and didn't even care and, and all that stuff davy jones was interesting <laughs> i'll have to have to watch this back on a 4k tv and and see the the cgi on his face and it looked like he was like a seaweed monster which is interesting i'm not complaining but i i gotta put all this in perspective was it fun yes is the point of this show to be fun yes did it accomplish its mission yes it's just not exactly my perfect cup of tea but it does look like it's setting up for a lot of really interesting things the part with Bogotan at the end was very interesting she is very scorned she's in, not in a good place she's very unhappy and obviously she wanted the dark saber she wanted to retake mandalore and and be the ruler and she felt that she was the rightful ruler and so that makes sense for her character to be in that position but it is cool to see her just kind of throw aside his religion as it's worthless and, and just saying it's all superstition go off and <laughs> there's nothing special about the waters go ahead if you want to like you're still having your helmet on what are you doing you weirdo and so that aspect of it is pretty cool so i i do hope we get more of that more of the lore and the, the culture of the mandalorians is really cool some of the dialogue i felt was a little iffy um that would make you landed gentry I, I think x-wing made a video about that landed gentry uh x-wing love you bro um <laughs> a very funny video that you made on that the other day i'm gonna leave it there if you made it this far in the video landed gentry is your comment of the week so go ahead and comment landed gentry down below for an extra special shout out on this monday night's live show so you'll get an extra special shout out there hope to see you there and uh, we're going to have a lot to talk about with this episode, where we could be going. I will see you there. Thank you very much for watching. If you've made it this far in the video, I really appreciate your time. May the stash be with you, and I will see you wherever I happen to see you in the galaxy.